Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we'll be learning about dorm traversing. Traversing refers to the way we move inside a dorm. It refers to the way we navigate inside a dorm. To do so, we can either move up from an element or move down from an element or either we can move on the same level. Or the fourth thing is we can use filters. To move up from an element, we have three functions. First one is parent. Parent function returns the direct parent of that element. Second one is parents. It returns all the parent elements of that element. Third one is parents until function. It returns parents until the parent we supply as an argument. It returns all the parents until the parent which is supplied as an argument in the brackets. Next is moving down. In moving down, we have two methods. First one is children and second one is find. Using children, we can return all the children of the element up to the single level. Using find, we can return all descendant elements which match the element which is passed as an argument inside find. Moving on to next slide, let's see how we can move on the same level. First one is siblings function. Siblings function returns all the elements on the same level of the selected element. Next is next and previous method. Next and previous method returns the adjacent sibling of that element. Next returns the next adjacent and previous returns the previous adjacent element. Next all and previous all methods. Next all and previous all method returns the next all siblings in that lane and previous all returns all the siblings in previous lane that is which appears previous to that selected element. Next is next until and previous until. We can supply the argument as condition which decides which siblings to be returned and which to not. Next is filtering. First method is filter method. Using filter method we can supply the condition and return elements which satisfy that condition. Using not, we can do exactly opposite of what we can do using filter. We can supply a condition and we can filter elements based on the fact that they do not satisfy that condition. Next is equal method. Equal method returns the element which matches the index number passed in the equal method as arguments. Next is first and last method. First and last method returns the first and last element of the selected element respectively. Let's see all these things in practical. In our web page, we have heading as traversing, which we have included using h1 tag. We have a div which contains a paragraph, which in turn contains a span with an ID of test. Let's see this in our web page. So here is our heading and here is a paragraph tag containing this is some text as text. In our script, we have written a variable parent disp, which contains dollar hashtag test dot parent. We are using dot parent method on hashtag test. Hashtag test is this span. So it should turn us up the paragraph, which is its parent element. Let's see the output. Here we have logged the parent. So if I inspect it, I can see that it returns me the paragraph element on top of it. So dot parent method returns the paragraph, which is above in the hierarchy of span here. Next is parents disp. The parents disp variable contains the return value of dot parents method. Dot parents method returns each of the parents until top of document. So we can see the output of the same here. We can see that hashtag test which was span inside paragraph has returned paragraph as its first parent div as its second parent, body as its third parent and HTML as its fourth parent. So we can see that the parents method has returned each parent until the top of document. Next is parents until we have specified div inside parents until as an argument. So this div will make sure that only the parents until this div are displayed. So we should get only paragraph as our output. Let's see. So you can see only one element is returned, which is paragraph. In our web page, we can see another div, which contains an ID of rem test with style of background yellow, display block, border to two pixels, and height of 120 pixels, which can be seen here. This is that div. On that, on this div, we are performing some actions in our script. We have declared a variable find demo. We are using dot find method to find paragraph inside rem test. Rem test is this div. We are using find to find paragraph inside rem test. Let's see the output in our log. So this 
so I'll just here in find we can see we have returned three values first paragraph second paragraph and third paragraph that because the diff contains three paragraphs in total which are these so this is how find works now next thing is child demo so we have an ordered list here which contains three list items and an unordered list in turn so here it is an ordered list inside which we have our unordered list the child demo variable has the value of dollar ol dot children dot children method will return the immediate children of that element so dollar ol we have used ol as selector here and we have applied dot children method to it let's see the output and so here we can see it returns four children to us which are first list item second list item third list item and the unordered list so this is how dot children works it returns the immediate children of the parent element now we have another variable sib demo which contains dollar hashtag second child dot siblings so it returns siblings of second child so second child is this one so we should get two list items and an unordered list as our output let's see in siblings we have three things as output first is list item second is another list item and third is an ordered list so dot siblings returned all the siblings on the same level we have a variable next demo which contains dollar hashtag second child dot next this next will return the next immediate sibling of hash second child so we should get this li as output this next we can see we get third child as our output which contains a li next is filter demo in filter demo we have used dollar li dot filter and we are using dot inner child inside filter this will check if dot inner child is present in li and will get output of that li which contains dot inner child and we are using dot log to display the output we will get this list item in our output because it contains the class inner child let's see the output here we get one list item as output which contains inner child as class so that was all about dom traversing thank you